in recent months, there has been, you know, continued bombardment of these ethnic insurgency areas in the north and northwest of Burma. The area we're talking about though is called Chin State. It's right up in the northwest corner next to India. And they've been bombarded from the air and with heavy artillery for weeks and months now. What has happened now, though, is that there is evidence on the ground of significant troop deployments, heavy equipment going into these areas, and attacks against the civilian population in Chin State is reported to be significantly increasing. Now, these have this has raised alarm bells among human rights groups and at the United Nations because it has echoes of what happened prior to the Rohingya genocide in 2017 when the Myanmar military you know, attacked civilian populations there, driving a million people into neighboring Bangladesh. Nobody wants to see a return of that, but the generals, despite UN appeals for a de-escalation, are very good at, at ignoring what they're told to do. And Jonathan, can you put this in the wider context of what's been happening in Myanmar since the February coup? What has happened in recent weeks and months is that there has been an intensification of civil conflict. Um, this is IEDs, um, explosive devices going off in major cities, Yangon, Mandalay, elsewhere in the country, and assassinations of individuals who are deemed to be you know, in cahoots with the military. This has caused panic amongst village heads and administrative um, people across across the country. It seems that the People's Defence Forces are being trained by some of the armed ethnic groups in the north of the country, particularly the Kachin Independence Organisation. If that continues, what we'll see is a, an escalation and a descent into civil war. That is the warning of the UN Special Envoy, who is standing down from her job just in the days ahead. She said that that is that Myanmar is currently spiralling into civil war.